Hey guys, uh, today's video was really uh, important to me, really near and dear to my heart. Something um, I really thought about a lot over the weekend and um, I just, I was editing and I saw that most, like halfway through the video, the camera kind of went out of focus. And like you all know, this is a one woman show, I do everything, so I didn't really know. But like the first half of the video is like fine and then the rest is a little my face is blurred which some people might say is an improvement but <laughs> um, if you could please keep listening to what I'm saying because I feel like it's a very important message that I really wanted to share I would have reshot the video but this was a very authentic non-rehearsed just discussion and I don't think I would find that words again and even if I do it would be it would sound way too rehearsed and this is not something that should be rehearsed it's something that should be authentic so uh just bear with the unfocused camera and you know just listen to the message if you can like i said the first half of the video is fine and then the second half just kind of went blurry but uh, enjoy guys hello everyone and welcome here back to another episode of me and gen z which is kind of the podcast type thing I do uh, if you're watching on YouTube if you're listening on a podcast app obviously you know it's a podcast uh, but yeah so this is the podcast version of uh, the podcast type thing I do on my YouTube channel and as well as other podcast platforms uh, along with all the other videos that I do on YouTube and uh, there were two things I really wanted to discuss today well not there were two uh, options for me to discuss today um, and I put a poll up on Twitter like I think Friday or Saturday yeah Friday I think for it to run over the weekend to choose between the two so that I know which one to do today and which one to do next week and then the poll ended in a tie it was 50 50 thank you to the four people who voted you know um, uh, but yeah, it ended up in a tie, so that didn't really work out for me. Uh, but I'm going to put the poll up again this Friday. So now you guys know and you can go actually vote and hopefully it won't end in a tie. Which means obviously today we have to talk about something else. And we are going to talk about something else. This is not going to be... This is going to be more of a... I don't want to say motivational speech, but it's going to be more speech-like than um, discussion-like. Because over the weekend, um, some things happened. And uh, it, it made me just rethink a lot of things. And um, just it made me also realize a lot of things. And one of those things are that you could let literally die in like the next second okay you don't know when that is coming you don't know when you are not going to be here anymore and that means that if you spend your life living a lie if you spend your life being afraid of doing anything and you end up leaving the earth before actually being able to do some of the things you really wanted to that's kind of on you okay and that's why i wanted to title this today Gen Z needs to stop being afraid of living. We need to stop being afraid of saying what we mean. Um, now, before I get into exactly what I want to tell you today, I just want to preface this with, remember to take this in a way that means living your authentic life, being your authentic self, and saying the things that you mean. Now, I'm not saying... Go up to someone and with the purpose, with the intent to be rude. That is not what I'm saying. You should never have the intent to be rude. But remember, uh, offense usually, okay, some things are 
uh, globally offensive. But most things that you're going to say is subjectively offensive to people. One or two people are going to be offended, not everyone. Okay, and that is not something that you can control. You can't control outside of what we globally kind of accept as offensive you can't control what people are going to find offensive okay which means if you have a point you want to make and you're scared to say something because you're scared what people are going to think you're scared if you're going to offend someone then i don't know what to tell you but that's that's what i'm what i'm not saying go up to people and be rude but do not be scared to say what you mean because you don't know when it's all going to end and would you rather be remembered for just agreeing with everyone never actually saying something never actually doing the things you really want to do because you were scared of what people are going to think because you're scared that you may offend somebody though so like i said this is the last time i'm saying this but i say it now so that you guys realize what i'm saying you should never go into a conversation with the intent to be rude or purposefully offend people okay that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is you cannot live your life scared of doing anything because you're scared of what other people are going to think or do okay so i've had a lot of time to think about this over the weekend because uh like i said some things happened that made me realize all of this and i realized that uh life is way too short to not be who you want to be okay if you are going to live as someone else, if you're going to live to be like someone else or to be perceived as someone that you are not and you are leaving this earth, you're not going to have done anything meaningful because you're just going to be the same as every other person and you're not the same as every other person. We are all unique. We all think differently. We all look differently. Uh, we are different now we may agree on some things and disagree on other things but we're all still very unique and i don't want to one day whenever it may be be leaving here knowing that i didn't do anything meaningful knowing that i just did what other people were, were already doing said what other people were already saying because I didn't want to offend anyone I cared too much what people thought about me okay so if you are yourself if you're being authentic the right people will respect you the right people will will learn to like you okay and the people that don't like you or don't respect you that that's their prerogative as well but that, that, that they're not going to be in your life and that means their opinions don't matter in your life as much the people whose opinions will matter the people whose respect you would want are the people who are going to be upfront and honest with you and you're going to be able to have discussions and they're not going to judge you um because you're being yourself okay and um i just think i think as as gen z as a uh, as a generation that has always had access to social media and television and the internet we've seen all these trends we've seen all the things that are popular and we fall into the trap of trying to be a trend of trying to do a trend i an example of this is tiktok right i'm on tiktok now never thought i'd, I'd be on tiktok but it's it's just kind of fun uh just i don't know i don't really know what i'm doing on there but you'll do a trend because you want to get more views which you can't blame people for I do it if it's a trend you know but um 
that that that's a little different but when it it starts coming into your personality into your being into who you are if you are changing your personality and who you are to be part of a trend that is when it gets dangerous if you're posting a video on tiktok that's a funny dance people are doing that's one thing you're doing a dance that everyone's doing it's funny when you're actually letting it personally change you, if you're actually letting it influence your personality, if you're actually shutting down a part of your brain to fall into a trend on social media or the internet or a way of thinking that is popular, that is when it starts getting dangerous. And that is why I want to aim this particularly at Gen Z, but whoever else is listening to you too. We've always had social media and the the internet and TV. The trends were always there and we, you were always trying to fit into a place. Now we all like being a part of something. So we're going to go into a group that we are like. But you need to go into the group that you actually belong in if you want to. Because we usually gravitate towards people that uh, are similar to us and that's going to be our kind of group um, of people but being ourselves are is really really important right now okay and I know a lot of us are still a little younger we don't actually know who we are yet on a like a belief kind of level or a how we think and how we process the world we're still learning and that is great but i think the the impact of social media on that is is really uh influencing the way we think the way we kind of learn to get to know ourselves um and when you're really learning to get to know yourself you do not need social media to to help you with that because social media is not going to help you figure out who you are inside that is something you need to figure out yourself but once you think you know who you are you'll never because you're going to going to keep growing throughout your life but when you have a fundamental idea of who you are and you've done enough inspection into yourself you know who you are you need to be authentic to yourself because if you are going to become a trend then you are going to be unhappy because you're going to be saying these things and you may get a million likes on instagram or a lot of followers but you're going to be miserable because you're not going to be honest with yourself you're not going to be honest with people you're not going to be who you actually are you're going to be what you think other people want you to be and i think that is the worst way to live your life okay you don't want to come to the end of your life saying oh i was just like everybody else no i don't think that is what anyone wants to say when you come to the end of your life you want to say you know what i made mistakes i made a lot of mistakes but i learned from my mistakes and throughout all of it i found myself i found who i was and i lived as myself i think that is the most important thing in today's society where everyone just wants to fit in with the newest trend okay and that is the one thing the other thing is we are so scared to speak our minds even me when when i'm when i'm kind of getting ready okay today is a little bit less rehearsed but sometimes when it's important topics i write a couple of notes i i have to filter things that i could can say because I'm, I'm i'm i i need to say the right things in the right way so that people you know and like I said, there are things that are globally ex accepted as offensive and that you should steer clear from. But a lot of things, actually most things, are subjectively offensive to some people. And if you're going to live your life too scared to say something because it may offend one person, then that is not a life worth living. You need to be yourself. You need to say what you believe. Like I said again, okay, I said it was the last time, but again, I need to repeat this. I don't say, I'm not saying... Go up to someone with the purpose and the intent of being rude, okay? Not what I'm saying. But if you have an opinion and it's a well thought, thought out opinion and you've actually done the research and you've actually come to this opinion by hearing all sides of the story and you've considered anything, everything, you're allowed to have that opinion. You're allowed to tell people about that opinion. They may disagree with you. That is their prerogative. That's that is why we have discussions that is why we that is how we grow 
But if you're going to be too scared to have an opinion that's different from someone else's because it's not trendy or popular and you're going to silence yourself, then is that actually living? Is that living? Are we living or are we so scared to say something? For example, a joke. If you see a joke that is actually hilarious, but you're like, mm, I can't share this on social media because it's offensive. Okay. Now, there are some jokes that do go a bridge too far, but most jokes are funny, but a little offensive to someone because that's the point of a joke, right? A joke is always going to be making fun of something or someone or some you know something that happened okay that is something it may even be making fun of something you personally do but that is what makes jokes funny okay the fact that it's relatable if you can relate to something you're like oh right that's what makes jokes funny and jokes jokes are going to be offensive most jokes are going to be offensive to someone okay but if we're going to say okay you can't say this this or this and we're basically relegated to knock knock jokes okay is that really what we're going to be doing okay we need to start being ourselves and stop caring so much about people about what people think okay because your life is not infinite okay you're not going to live forever okay unless someone somewhere creates some miracle thing that makes you live forever and but when you come to the end, whenever that may be, and that's the thing, we don't know. None of us do. You want to know that you lived an authentic life, that you weren't too scared to say what you feel, to do things, and just be adventurous, okay? I'm not saying be impulsive. You can still consider bigger decisions in your life with um, due consideration and making... What I'm saying is... Don't be so scared to say something or do something because you're scared of what other people may think of that, okay? Um, because that's no way to live. I don't want to come to the end of my life saying I never did anything because I was too scared. Now, fear is, fear is genuine. Fear is a genuine thing. But overcoming that fear is so important. You want to overcome as many of your fears as you possibly can. Because if you don't, you're going to not, you're going to, you're going to live a life in fear. Do you really want to live your life in fear? Do you feel like that is a, uh, I'm just, after, after everything this weekend, I, I just, I can't get myself to say that I'm going to stop talking or stop doing something because I'm scared. Because you know, maybe, maybe later, maybe tomorrow. No, no more of that. Because we don't know when, when we are no longer going to be able to do those things. Okay. We cannot live in fear of doing the things that we want to do uh, within the, the bounds of the law, obviously, <laughs> just adding that in there. Okay. Keep the law in mind. So I'm saying we can't be scared to do the things that we want to do. We can't be scared to say the things we want to say once again, not being rude on purpose, because uh, but but saying things we want to say because one or two people may be offended. We don't even know if they're going to be offended, because mostly offense is a subjective em subjective emotion. People get offended by different things. If we're going to be too scared to do things or say things that we truly feel, then then our generation is pretty much done because we're going to all live in fear and we're going to get to the end and we're going to say i never did anything i never said what i meant i never uh, expressed myself uh because i was scared i was scared about what other people were going to think um and i just i just feel i felt like i had to share this message with you because fear is not the way you want to live your life okay you don't you need to overcome fear if you're ever going to live a meaningful life, you can't hide from everything, okay? And um, it's just, it, it was something that I felt that I really, really realized this weekend and I really needed to share with everyone today. And 
obviously because uh, I had a 50-50 on my poll, so I couldn't actually talk about either of the topics, or I had to cover both because they were both voted for equally. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I just, I really had to share this message with you guys, and a lot of people may be disagreeing with me, a lot of you may actually be agreeing with me, a lot of you might resonate with what I'm saying, and if you do, I'm really glad. I'm really glad. Uh, comment what you think about about this. What do you think contributes the most to our fear of just being who we are? Do you think it's like judgment, The what other people may think? What, what do you think contributes most to our fear to be authentically ourselves? Or, and say what we mean. Comment it down below. If you're listening on the audio, uh, go comment on a Twitter post or go to the YouTube channel when you can and, and leave a comment there. So, okay, that is my speech for today. Uh, once again, I'm gonna put that poll on Twitter this Friday to vote on the two topics that I want to discuss um, and you can vote on which one you want to hear also. Drop your comment on that post on Friday, uh, what you think, because I want to discuss as many perspectives on the topic as I possibly can, so that everyone can kind of find something that they can resonate with. Okay. Okay. So guys, that is my video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can see, we're a bit of a new setup here because uh, I finally found a table that I could use. I'm thinking of doing a little background thing here. If you have any ideas, comment it down below. And um, I hope to see you for Entertainment Tuesday tomorrow. I know last week we didn't do it because things, once again, didn't work out as planned. But hopefully tomorrow you will see an Entertainment Tuesday with video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys for tomorrow's video.